Lab topic number five investigates ways to measure both anaerobic and aerobic respiration. In exercise 5.1, we're going to investigate anaerobic, also known as alcoholic fermentation. We'll be using rapid rise yeast in combinations with corn syrup and water to estimate the fastest rate of respiration. If you look at the formula on the bottom of page 101, you'll notice the products are alcohol, carbon dioxide, and ATP. Using an apparatus known as a fermentation tube, this will allow us to measure or collect in the graduated stem the amount of carbon dioxide. Following table 5.1, we'll fill each of these fermentation tubes with water, yeast, and corn syrup. Now, look at table 5.1. What is different about the concentrations or amounts of each of these solutions? Notice the corn syrup is exactly the same in all three, and corn syrup is our sugar source. What we are varying are the amount of water and yeast. Now, in order for fermentation tubes to work, the total volume must be enough that we can drive the liquid into the graduated stem. That is the reason we are changing the amount of water. The water is really to keep our volume consistent. And we know water, serving as a controlled variable, won't alter our results. So it's really the amount of yeast that is different between these three fermentation tubes. We'll go ahead and fill these three fermentation tubes with the amounts listed on table 5.1. We'll note the amount of carbon dioxide in the graduated stem at time zero, and then we'll check them and record any carbon dioxide in five minute intervals. So let's go ahead following the table and add our water. I'm having to use a pipette for ease of putting it into the graduated fermentation tube. So my pipette only measures to five, so I'm having to do it in several increments. In case I didn't mention, each of the fermentation tubes are labeled at their bases. Next, it says to add our yeast suspension. Now this yeast was rehydrated in 100 mils of water that was room temperature or about 22 degrees. Notice I'm not putting any yeast in fermentation tube number one. So we can compare or have a control to truly be able to compare that yeast is the thing making the carbon dioxide.
Now you can see we have a mixture of yeast and water in fermentation tubes two and three, but fermentation tube one only has water. Lastly, we'll put in our corn syrup. Now we rotate to mix the sugar and the yeast in such a way that we not only mix the two, but we've got it sort of stuck up into the graduated stem so that we can then measure the amount of carbon dioxide. Now, if you'd like to try this at home, you certainly can do this in a bottle, and you could collect your carbon dioxide in a balloon fastened to the top of it. So you could estimate the amounts of each of these. Corn syrup and yeast are fairly available, readily available at the grocery stores. And you could try this on your own. Now we'll let these set. This is time zero. And note that we have zero graduated stem side, no bubbles of carbon dioxide. We'll check back in five minutes.